Hey there, it's Tank Girl, and this here is the HTC Arrive. It's a Windows Phone 7 Phone for Sprint. Not only that, but it has a slide out keyboard and a tilting screen, and it's the first CDMA Windows Phone 7 device and the first Windows Phone 7 device with copy and paste which as you know is one of the updates that's been announced for the existing Windows Phone phones. So let's unbox this and have a look shall we? So this is what the box looks like. There's this uh, guy that's always in all the sprint things very happy in his office chair. Apparently he's some sort of suit dude. And then uh, on the back here there's a little uh, text here, experience 3G speed. So this does not have WiMAX, it's not a 4G phone for Sprint, but it is a Windows Phone 7 phone for Sprint. So let's open her up. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. Here's the phone. So as you can see, this looks kind of familiar. It's the same shape and size as the uh, uh, T-Mobile G2 HTC Desire Z and um, same kind of back battery cover as well. Uh, before we get into the details of the phone, let's quickly go through the box. There's really probably not much in here. So we've got another flap and a series of manuals. Get started, etc. Let's uh, break the seal and see what happens. Uh, probably nothing very useful in here, to be frank, but it's always good to have a look. So you've got a business reply mail envelope. This is probably for recycling your old phone. Yeah, I think so. Recycling. Then you have, let's see, let's start this from the top. Get started manual. Probably not much in here, really. Let's see. Some pretty pictures. Some text. Not much, really. Same old. I think this is the getting started in Spanish. Then there's a basics guide. That's pretty thick. Um, probably all kinds of info on how to use Windows Phone 7. And let's see here. Sprint, terms of service, blah, 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 legalese crap. Then we've got the HTC Windows Phone 7 uh, software license. And then this little piece of paper. Please refer to the Windows Phone software license. I have no idea what this is, but it's more crap. All right, let's see. We continue. There's a flap. Here you see the standard HTC power adapter. I'm not going to open this right now, but you get the idea. There's a, a USB port at the end here. You can see it. Uh, and then there is a standard mic USB data cable, I would presume, uh, judging from what I see here. Yeah, it's pretty much standard micro USB. And then it's somewhere at the other end, standard USB plug right there. And probably some crappy headset that it comes with. Let's see, I see four prongs here. So that's pretty much standard 3.5 millimeter headset, probably with inline microphone. No point in opening this. Let's uh, focus on the phone, shall we? So, the phone, here we go. It opens like this and then slides up like this. Slides down and up and open. It's a little cumbersome, quite frankly. But if you push at the right spot here, it seems to pop right open. And if you look in the back, so this very interesting spring-loaded little rim part here. So when you close it like this, this thing is spring-loaded so that when you push it up, it uh, pushes it up. Interesting. So there's a um, piece of plastic here I'll remove in a second. Piece of plastic on the door and the camera and of course on the front glass. So let me just take this stuff off. It's really quite boring. There's one and let's see. There is two and 
three. It's got instructions on it. And I think there's another one in here. I'm just going to remove this. Oh, I just turned it on. Well, you know what? Since I turned it on, and I don't want to show you just yet, let me show you what's underneath the battery cover. So you can take a look. So I can take out the battery. So this is what's under the battery cover. Just the battery contacts, of course, no SIM. Uh, let's see what the battery info is on here. Trying to find the uh, amount, capacity of the battery, hopefully. There we are. 1500 milliamp hour. So let's put that back. Notice that uh, you can only open and close the battery cover with the screen tilted open, which is really quite interesting. Um, this little recess right here only appears when the screen, you see, when the screen is, is actually open. Um, so I was going to remove the other plastic here in the back before I got carried away with hitting the power button. I think we're good now. All right, so let's do a tour. Start with the front. First thing you've got is the standard windows, standard dust, it looks like. Standard uh, windows keys. You get the back key right here. Maybe it'll focus there. Back, windows, search. And then on top, you get the HTC logo, the Sprint logo, and the giant earpiece that's uh, spanning the whole length of the glass. And maybe there's a notification light hidden in there. HTC's been doing notification lights inside the speaker grill for a while. So uh, on the back, you've got a screw. I think it's purely decorative. It's got a uh, very strange uh, design. I don't know if you can see that. There we are. You can see it well there. And then uh, the battery cover, Windows Phone, and HTC Silver. This is very similar to the G2. And then here's the speaker with some kind of cool yellow, yellow accents, some dust. And the camera, which I believe is a 5 megapixel autofocus with an LED flash. On top, we've got the power button, which I pressed accidentally earlier. Headphone jack, standard headphone jack on the left-hand side. Get the volume rocker here. You can see it's a kind of a looks like a lot like the volume rocker on the torch. Actually, the more the BlackBerry style actually. See, kind of like flush like this. And then micro USB charge port and data port on the bottom. You have the microphone, and this part of the hinge, this spring-loaded uh, thing, covers the entire left side. It comes back to the top. Now, again, if I uh, open this like this on the left hand side you can now see the little recess to pop the battery cover off like I showed you earlier in the back there's nothing a couple of tracks a little recess for the screen ribbon cable and then of course the keyboard beautiful traditional HTC uh, keyboard five row very beautiful feels really really nice I'm not a huge keyboard fan myself. I don't really need a physical keyboard, but this is very much in line with uh, the Touch Pro 2 and, and other really, really outstanding HTC um, sliders of, of, of times past. And you can see it's got this really cool little um, patterned edge here. Now I showed you underneath the battery cover. I didn't see a micro SD card slot. Um, I didn't look very much, but Remember, a lot of Windows Phone 7 phones have the SD card slot pretty much sealed within because the, um, that's how they, um, that's the main storage for the phone and it's part of the file system, so they don't want you to actually remove the memory card. So, um, let's do some size comparisons while we're here. Um, the first thing I want to show you is I have an HTC Surround here, which is a Windows Phone 7 phone as well. You can see the difference in screen size. This is a 3.5 inch screen, whereas this is a 3.7 inch screen. Um, so a little smaller screen on the, on the Arrive than the, uh, than the Surround. Now remember the Surround has a slider as well. Slides out like this, reveals a set of Surround speakers and has a kickstand in the back here. 
But essentially, we're looking at pretty much the same guts other than this is a GSM device, and this here is a CDMA device. Um, the back looks like this. And the thickness, as you can see, the arrives a little thicker. It does have a real QWERTY keyboard there. Uh, this is uh, the surrounds a little thick too because of the uh, slide. See the dedicated camera key. Actually, I forgot to show you that when I did the tour earlier. But there is a dedicated camera key here on the uh, on the right. Sorry, the that's the, yeah, that's the right edge. Um, dedicated camera key and uh, it's double detent, obviously, like every Windows Phone Seven phone ever made. Um, yeah, so that's that's basically a comparison with the closest thing that I have floating around. Let me uh, turn this guy on. Right now, we'll do our first power on. I'll do some more size comparisons in a second. I just want to maybe do the uh, comparison since they're both turned on here. We can, uh, we can see what it looks like. See what it says. This is a first. can't remember what the uh, first use screen looked like on Windows Phone 7 on my uh, on my surround when I got it. L welcome to HTC T7575 Windows Phone. And it's so blurry. I hope it will focus any second now. Maybe not. There we are. Let's get started. So, get started. Windows Phone 7 Terms of Service. Accept and Windows Phone settings. I'm just going to go recommended. Just lazy here. And the time zone, it's Pacific time. Pacific, there we go. Pacific time, next. And then I'm not going to create any accounts, not now. And it's saying it's installing some apps. I wish this would focus a little better. There we go. Sometimes it's difficult when everything is shiny. So I think it's it's working. You can see the dots at the top is working on something. The next key is grayed out right now. While this is happening, let me do a comparison with this phone here. This is the uh, Motorola Click on T-Mobile. It's an Android phone. So you can see the screen sizes are, this is actually a 3.7 inch as well. And let's see, the keyboards are slightly different. Uh, this has this weird honeycomb keyboard, the click, and doesn't really feel that good. So uh, big improvement here with the HTC keyboard, obviously. I don't have a G2 to show you, otherwise it'd be pretty cool. So it says it's installed apps, so I'm gonna hit next. And then, uh, it's all done, so I think we're done the setup, and uh, here we go. This is a little jingle, and this is what it looks like. Um, of course, I got the green color scheme. This is the default blue color scheme. Right, so um, I, was gonna sh I was showing you the click, so this is what the click looks like next to the arrive, and then the back, and thickness-wise, very similar. Maybe they arrive a little thicker. It's hard to tell. But considering that the click is actually pretty compact, doesn't have too much bezel considering uh, it's a 3.7 inch screen. This has a lot of wasted space at the bottom here and the top and even the edges somewhat. And now the last comparison before I let you go is obviously the iPhone 4. So here's an iPhone 4. Same size screen. Of course, the iPhone 4 has a retina display, um, which is a different kind of display much higher res, but um, of course there's also differences in uh, thickness and stuff since the iPhone does not have a slide out keyboard. So this is what the back looks like. And of course here's your point of reference. The uh, iPhone is a very thin phone, so you can see that the arrive is almost double. But hey, you get a beautiful QWERTY keyboard. Anyway, so this is the HTC Arrive for Sprint, the first Windows Phone 7 phone with CDMA and with copy and paste. Hope you enjoy this video. This is Tanker. Cheers.